Hello, my name is Nick Carroll, and today we're going to explore the HTC Re camera. So for me, what I found to work to get this lanyard to, to be used on this Re camera is essentially I have to put that loop down here towards the very bottom and use your fingernail like so to get it below the point where the threads are and then you find the little hole right here that this cable will go through and then you basically have to hold it just like this and you want to do this as much as possible and then you start screwing this on and you gotta sort of maintain it like this so that the cable itself of the lanyard does not get caught in the hole and get wrapped around the threads by the screw. So that's a little bit of a painful process, but this is the way that I've found to make this work. And here's me taking this off. And another thing I did not show you was at this bottom here, there is a spot here for an eight gigabyte SD card, which you remove this with your fingernail. And I just cut my fingernails the other day, so they're not very short, but you'll see this little slot here for the SD card, which you can basically push on to get it to come out. Like so. And here you go. And then, of course, to put it back in, you essentially move that flap out of the way. And then you push that card in gently. When it's oriented this way, the fingers, the copper fingers, are going to be pointed upwards. Get in, in there until it clicks. And once it clicks, you fold the flap over. And then, of course, if you want to charge this, it's like an 800 plus milliamp hour battery. You basically connect the micro USB and let it charge for like an hour or so. In fact, I charged this up last night and it took, I would say, approximately one hour to charge it to full. And now if you want to power this on for the very first time, now I've already powered it on, so this won't work now for me. But you hold it for a couple seconds and then essentially it'll turn on and it'll remain on the entire time. It'll actually turn off when you stop holding it, there, but there are sensors around here that will basically detect, oh, I'm being held now, I'll turn on. And so it'll be on any time that you hold it and then when you let go, within 30 seconds it actually powers off. One cool thing about this is when it's off and you grab it, it'll tell you the battery level by a uh, little LED that lights out for a second. If it's green, that means you have 25% power or greater. If it's orange, then you have 25% or less than 25% power. And so that'll give you kind of an idea uh, of the battery level. And since this thing doesn't take that long to charge, about an hour, you could basically charge it up you know, probably a good 45 minutes or more and it'll be usable for, you know, an hour plus. So the two things you would do with the re-camera are take pictures or record video and they're both really easy to do. So let me show you how to take a picture. You basically look, look at that button right there, you just take a picture and that snapping sound, that basically is, is that taking the picture. And then to record the video, you basically hold it for a couple seconds and there's your audio cue that is actually recording the video, which at this time it's recording my wall, so that is not going to be very interesting footage. And then of course to stop recording, it's now stopped recording. And in order to record slow motion video, there's the button that I mentioned in my previous unboxing. You basically hold this, and now that's ready to record, and you'll see a little blue LED light show up here, and then you can also see there's a red, uh, blue LED light here, and then you can hold it for a couple seconds and now it's recording slow motion video and it's blinking blue and then to stop all you got to do is this you now have stopped recording slow motion video now the read can be used as a standalone camera and camcorder but the real fun is using it with your smartphone or your tablet you can download the re app from the google play store or apple's app store and using this app you can take pictures and record videos from the app itself. You can also use your phone or tablet as a viewfinder. Also from the app you can adjust various settings like turning on the wide angle mode or you can change up the time-lapse parameters. 
you can also view, edit, and share pictures and video straight from the re-camera. This eliminates the need for taking the card out of the camera and putting it in another media device and then downloading it from off the card. You can actually uh, share it over the uh, wireless connection. Alrighty, well that's going to wrap it up for this initial rundown of HTC's re-camera. Stay tuned for upcoming videos including some example pictures and clips that I'll be taking with this camera as well as my full review. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day.